and welcome back to the Mind Crack Feed the Beast server. Do you hear that sound, YouTube? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Listen, listen carefully. Yes, that's the sound of a portal to the to, to the nether regions. What we have here is a fully functioning nether temple of doom. So I've been doing some work, uh, I would say the vast majority of the time I've spent on this server has been working on this thing. I've updated it quite a bit. It's uh, it's getting there. I'm still working out some details. But um, I've went with, uh, let's see, this is basalt brick uh, stairs, which I, they're not actually real sta stairs. I had to uh, craft them with the sub blocks. And then we've got a, basically, a, I'm, I'm uh, messing around with uh, combinations of basalt and nether bricks in uh, various brick sizes and stuff. Have the little uh, top of the temple there. Looks pretty nice. Have some um, some nether brick here on the sides. I'm working on some details for these terraced areas, and I actually took me a while to find this. I was I was trying some different things. If I, if I try to do this detail right here in basalt, it, they're exactly the same color and you can't really see it. There's no shadow, so it, it doesn't really stand out. I tried doing it in stone. That was far too light. So this is actually gray wool. Black wool is too dark. So I, I found the only block in the game that was... Um, that fit that, what I was looking for. Uh, but it's still working out some details. It's come a long way, I would say, though. We've got some netherrack here, and then a strip of wasteland, and then grass. And I'm, let's zoom up a little bit. Uh, I'm still working on the, the landscaping and stuff. It's still pretty unpolished. It's just a sort of a first gesture. Uh, the sort of the effect I want to have in the end is, is that the, uh, the nether is bleeding over into the real world. So the, there's going to be netherrack here, and it's not going to be these like, unbroken circles it's gonna be more crackly and like tendrils reaching out of from the nether um, and so the uh, the nether is is sort of coming through the portal and corrupting the world and so it's gonna transition from this nether rack to this wasteland stone so it's like the uh, the the encroaching nether is is corrupting the land and killing all the all the grass and stuff and then eventually you get to a part where um, there's still grass and whatnot, but it's not going to look like this. It's going to be more cracked up and whoa, disconnected. Lovely. A uh, little disconnection there. I don't know if that was on my end or the server's end. Who knows? Anyway, uh, it's going to be more crackly and there may be some trees out here. But um, so we've got a few people have have claimed some of these plots. Not that one. This one's going to be mine eventually. For now, it's just basically storing my building supplies for building all this stuff. I think this one is Beefs. This one is Bash. He's the first one to actually build something. This is going to be... Oh, there was a sign here saying what this was. Right here. Bash's Steel Emporium. Then Arcus has taken one. And then this one is Pyro... And uh, that's Goods. Uh, it's going to be a turtle store, I think. Nevers has one. Milby. Get Head Shop. <laughs> Coming soon. Um, let's see. The Gems. So, Bodega. Get your sticky resin here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it looks like that's it for now. But I was, uh, I was kind of curious. I wasn't sure how many people were actually going to want to make one. But it seems like a lot of people do. So that is a quarter of the circle we filled out already, which is good. So it looks like it's going to have a nice jumbled up mat, uh, mix of different people's building styles and what they add to the server. So anyway, um, I have spent the majority of my time on the server getting this thing up and running. I still haven't done anything on the other side of the portal. It's a mess over there. Uh, haven't done anything over there. I will get around to that, but I need to start working on my secret base, man. All I have still to this point is that little starter base, and I need to find my permanent base. I'm not going to be doing the little um, individual bases everywhere like I originally said in the first episode. 
uh, I don't think that's really the best way to take advantage of Feed the Beast. So I'm going to be making one big, complicated, uh, mad scientist laboratory with a bunch of mods overlapping all over the place. It's going to be kind of crazy. So um, I guess for now, let's head back to my little starter base for a minute. Okay, we're back at the little uh, starter plot here, which I want to get the hell out of. I want to abandon this place. I want to have a real proper mad scientist laboratory. But while I'm out scouting areas, because I need to do some looking around to find the, uh, the appropriate area I'm looking for, I'd like to have some passive item acquisition going on. So I'm going to leave a quarry going down here in this area I've set up. So the quarry is going to be here. Let's see, we're going to need... Oh, by the way, I made this guy a diamond jackhammer. Uh, I made it off camera because I needed to do uh, do a lot of large-scale uh, terraforming at the town square. Here's Oh, that's the wrong one. Here's how you make it. Uh, diamond dust you get from macerating diamond. Titanium ingot. Energy crystal and an advanced circuit and look what it does to the stone smack it just destroys stone uh, it does use up a lot of energy it holds a hundred thousand which is nice uh, but it doesn't work on dirt or any kind of crafted block so if you put like cobblestone down um, it's not as fast it's still it's still useful but it's um you kind of need, if you want to use it, you, you also want a, a mining drill or something similar to that to uh, take out other blocks. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to leave this here. So I need to set it up really quickly. Um, actually, get that off my bar because it's been, I've been accidentally just plowing through stuff. So you need to set up these guys here and uh, let's clear out a little space so I can breathe a little bit. It's kind of cramped. I had to extend this. I was going to make it a little smaller, but turns out my power source wasn't going to be uh, in the loaded chunk that the quarry leaves loaded. So I had to expand it into a new chunk so that my power source would stay powered, or the, the quarry would stay powered, the, the power source would stay loaded. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's do that and that. So that's those three guys. Um, then we'll need some cable. Uh, nope, not like that. Uh-huh, and then we're going to need to switch them on, or give them redstone signal anyway. Um, okay, and then they will need... Man, it's very cramped in here. Let me clear this out a little bit. And this... Oh, there's a beehive underground. Look at that. It's, uh, the server's been very laggy today. It might have something to do with the fact that there's 10 to 12 people on at any time. Which is kind of cool that the uh, the server is so busy. Okay, um, then we want the bat box. And is that the correct face? It is. Okay, place that there, and then that there. Um, and then we need some power sources, so let's head back here. I already did the water mill thing, and I made 300, almost 400 water mills, so I'm not doing that again. I want to do something different, even though that was a really cool design. I miss it. Oh, I get so sentimental. I get so attached to my creations. Anyway, um, I put together enough stuff to make three solar panels and then convert them into advanced solar panels. Silicon plate, carbon plate, generator, electric circuit, all stuff we've made before, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, put those in here really quickly. And you may be wondering, sister, uh, oops, um, how are you going to stay hidden? What am I missing here? Uh, how are you going to stay hidden? Solar panel on a server. How are you going to stay like the seek the beast thing where people are trying to find you? Um, if you're spending, if you're uh, using solar panels, because they're going to be easy to see. Well. Get to that. So I made uh, these advanced machine blocks. How do you make those in advanced Greg Tech? Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. So that is advanced alloy, carbon plate, and machine block. That's not too bad. And then I had to make this ir irradiant glass pane. You make whoops, what the heck happened? Oh, but 
Yeah. Um, okay, so you make that with glowstone dust, a radiate, a radiant uranium, which is refined uranium. You just smelt up uranium to get the bar and put glowstone dust around it. Um, let's do that again. And then I needed to make reinforced glass. To make reinforced glass, you need advanced alloy and glass. Right? I think that's it. And that gives you an irradiant glass pane. Yeah, okay. So that's everything. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Uh, no, 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 like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then three advanced machine blocks. Advanced solar panel, yeah! All right. So let's bring these bad boys over here and set them up. So I'm gonna put them right here. And you may be wondering, gosh, that looks awfully dark. There's no sunlight up there. Hmm, and they're not working. Uh, let me check something. I'll be right back. Okay, I fixed the uh, the problem. They're working now, and we can switch this on. Uh, so each of these guys generates eight EU at night and one EU during the day. So that's 24 EU total. The uh, the water mill stacks I was making, 32 water mills in that stack formation were, were generating about five EU a tick. So these three advanced solar panels here are outputting the same amount of power during the day as about 150 water mills. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, downside is at night they only generate one, which is what they're doing right now, but they can store energy and you can store them in bat boxes during the day too to sort of make up for that. So um, I guess overall if you account for the loss during the night, they they do about uh, maybe like the work of maybe 80 water mills, something like that. So quite a bit. Oh, and I need to finish hooking these up. This should be more than enough boxes uh, to store the items while I'm out searching for uh, stuff. Actually. I think I need to move these. No, no, this chunk is loaded. Yeah, because I moved the, uh, I moved this quarry back. The edge of the chunk is like right here, maybe something like that. Um, and so this whole chunk, all the way back, like ten blocks that way, is all loaded. Um, what next? What's next? Yeah, I think that's it for right now. Right, what I'm gonna do now is spend some time scouting out for uh, my new base location. Time passes. It's a day later, and the quarry has finished. Um, cleared out everything out of here. Ended up with a lot of bulk storage of stone and a bunch of other things. Dug up a bunch of bees. In this box here, I've set up... Hi, Zistofans. Hi, Generic Bee. Uh, in this box, I've set up um, what I think is I'm going to do with my sorting system, at least the, the basics of it. Once I get to the new base, um, smeltable ores, stones, crystal -y stuff, ores I'm not using very much or for anything at this point. Uh, crystals, ooh, that thumbcraft. <laughs> we'll get into that shortly. But I've begun breaking stuff down. The enchanting table is, uh, is gone. The rolling thingy is gone. All the other stuff, gone. Packed up, ready to go. All I have is the MFE. To, uh, what are they saying? Bet, yeah! Suck it, though. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, the, uh, what was I saying? Oh, it's all packed up, ready to go, except for the MFE to charge my tools. And from the materials I got from that quarry, I made a few more things. Namely, another 12 advanced solar panels. And this now, uh, this now constitutes, uh, the beginning and end of my exploration not really exploration because I'm trotting uh, ground I've already covered before but uh, I'm done with industrial craft for the most part I may dabble in UU matter later on down the road but um, basically I have enough stuff to have a quarry on autopilot and have uh, smelting and um, maceration and all those different functions and item sorting all that stuff is gonna be automated doing stuff on its own 
uh, while I experiment with other mods. And I realize I missed this. This is valuable stuff right there. So I'm going to pick it up. Okay. Um, yeah, there's some uh, iron there. There's stuff in the walls, but it's it's time to move on. Oh, wait, is that gold? Let's go see if this is gold. Hi-ho! It is gold. Okay, that's valuable. I'm going to pick that up. I am a little low on gold, making a lot of... Um, um, what is it? Electrum? Or no... I forget what it's called. I've been using a lot of gold, though. Uh, the lead, I don't have a purpose for yet. Anyway, um, it's time to begin the journey to my new home, which I have selected. I've been scouting, and I found the new place. And obviously, I can't show you the journey there, but there's a little th there's a little stop to make. Something I found while I was scouting. It's actually... I'm going to have to go out of my way to go to it. But um, I found something while I was looking around for a new base that I want to show you and then uh, I guess I'll see you there because I can't show you that I can't show you that the trip and what do we have here looks like I have stumbled upon the far lands and no wonder Kurt has never been able to get to it is that a spider jockey it is my spider jockey this must be where you live Oh, and there's, there's the spider. He's angry. I killed his jockey. Um, yeah, I found the Farlands. Look at this nonsense. Uh, no wonder Kurt hasn't gotten there yet. He's in the wrong map. He needs to start playing Feed the Beast. Beat you to the Farlands, sucker! Ha-ha! <laughs> Mate, you may as well end your series now, because I found it. I got there. Um, and there's no point for you to continue. No, I'm just kidding. I have. I think this must be some kind of error with ex, uh, the extra biomes XL. Maybe it's conflicting with one of the other mods. I don't know, but it's really bizarre, um, and it just goes for basically ever for thousands and thousands of blocks because I tracked it. So um, yeah, I wanted to show this before we head off to my base. All right, that's that's probably enough. And here we are, home sweet home. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> it's a little bit, you know, these, um... Here's a trick. You want to make a space uncomfortable, make it very long and moderately wide and as low as possible, and it will make people feel uncomfortable. I feel like this ceiling is about to fall right on my head. Um, but we're going to get to work here. Basically, what I think I'm going to do, um, without revealing too much, I do have a kind of a master plan accumulated in my brain, and I need to get the, the laboratory working to sort of puzzle out some of these ideas. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a quarry with this outline to get more materials. Um, and while that's working, I'm going to go back to the old starter base. Let's offload all this advanced material. Uh, I did manage to get here with the advanced solar panel safely. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a quarry here so these chunks are loaded. Then I'm going to go back to my old base and put a world anchor there. Then I'm going to make two ender chests and I'm going to link them up with dye so that they uh, have the same inventory and I'm going to start passing items through uh, pipes and uh, redstone engines. Um, into one ender chest at my old base and out of the ender chest here to transfer all my all my materials all the stone and like the, the barrels and barrels of stone I have all that kind of stuff is going to be transported through ender chest um, so I just need to make two ender chests and a world anchor and get everything set up so um, another time lapse boom boom all right, this will be the last update for this video. Really, I should have ended this video a while ago. This video has taken me like four days to record with all the different things I've done and moving things back and forth. So uh, the quarry is ready to go. Look how much nicer this space is now that I've made it five blocks high instead of two. Um, but we're going to bore it all the way down to bedrock with the quarry. Uh, i got some basic sort of starter area storage here. And... While this is boring down, um, I've also got some bulk storage here for stone, dirt, and gravel. Um, while this is going, I'm going to start working on uh, transferring stuff via uh, ender chests from the old little starter base to my permanent laboratory here. But uh, we'll, we'll work on that next time. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're just getting going. Finally, finally getting going. Um, in Feed the Beast, Seek the Beast. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hot tub party! Hot tub party! Hot tub party!